by Jen Snyder. In this book, there's uh, many stories about people helping others and actually getting off your butt and doing something. Yeah, so, uh, and one amazing story in this book I found really heart feeling, felting, you know, whatever the word is there. Heartfelt. Felt, heartfelt, was a story about a guy named Blake. His parents were killed and this guy was, saw it in the news He's like, wow, I really want to help this family. So he didn't change the channel, watched the story, got up in a huge organization, and took about, about two weeks out of his life and ended up raising about $50,000 for his kid. That was really amazing. Now, anyways, it's the list. How do you believe uh, you started off with service? What, you're a great service at school. You do a service day, organize that. You're just a great person all in general. But uh, how did uh, how did you start off with your service? Um, I guess I was always taught at home. Me and my parents gave a lot. My parents, I was raised very simply, and my mom and dad were always actively involved in helping people. It wasn't in formal organizations. It would be painting the church basement, or it would be you know making the coleslaw for the fish fry, or whatever it was. Um, but we were always taught that. What we had was a lot, and that we had to share it. Um, I've seen the benefit of giving back. <laughs> Not like I do it because I'm going to get you know, a reward for me, but the difference that one person can make, whether it's a smile, whether it's a, you know, a meal. Um, and there's, it's so important that we do it. Uh, all of us, I think, if we work together, and, I, and I truly, I'm not naive, and I don't, well, I'm probably stupid in many regards, but. I think there's enough ability in the world to make it the kingdom. Yes. I think we need to be involved in doing that. Um. Well, Miss Liz is obviously the one of our most contributors here at Service Day, where all the kids get up and just go do out do service for a day to miss school, which is awesome. Um, what like was it your idea to start Service Day? Wow, amazing! Um, so she's so humble about it too. And let's say, like, what is the what was your idea for? Like, what made you get off the couch and say, "Let's do this"? Um, well, I work with kids every day, and I, I think kids are amazing, and I think the gifts that kids have. I always say, if you want to change the world, give it to kids, give, it, give the assignment to kids. Um, I just, I wanted people to have a better opinion about teenagers. I, I get sick of hearing how, oh, they're lazy, or they think only of themselves. And, we are not lazy. And I, and I argue, I argue with people a lot on that, because they only get the media viewpoint of teenagers who are hacky and tell their parents off and don't want to do anything. And um, I just knew that the service days would it's, it's good for the people they serve, obviously, first and foremost, but really good for the kids. And I would hope people think that of the four times that most of the seniors have done service day, that, that they probably got more out of it than the people they serve before. Besides cold feet and, you know, maybe having an awkward experience in a nursing home with somebody that did talk or thought they were on the farm. Um, I, just, I think it's so important to model that, and I think it's important that you guys do it. That's part of your life. My personal experience, I really enjoyed service days and uh, got great, great experience from all of them. Especially with our teachers, got to go out with everyone, our friends, it's a great time. I'd like to thank Mrs. Liss right now for uh, taking time to spend time with me, to spend time with all of us, and sharing her great time with us. Thank you. We'll see you later.